Police say they are getting closer to solving the death, the shooting death of 21-year-old Samantha Mathis. She was in her car at Gray Street and Delaware Avenue near Julian B. Lane Park when somebody opened fire from another vehicle. Savannah was an all-star nursing student at HCC and a key player in her family's South Tampa barbecue business. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank joins us now live from this one at TPD's Westside headquarters with an update. What more do you know, Evan? Well, detectives here still say they need your tips, but they are building a case. There is one image that her mother hopes will convince people to come forward. These are the moments when Savannah's family said goodbye. La Maria Smith hesitates in sharing them, but this is her reality. For somebody to leave that image in my mind, so that's what I have, the last visual of this beautiful person, I want you to see what I had to look at at that hospital. Savannah hung on for two days after being shot in her car just west of Julian B. Lane Park. Her passenger was also hit but survived. Her mother spoke to us at BJ's Alabama Barbecue, the family business, and one of the places Savannah shined. <laughs> when people come in here, they come for the barbecue, but a lot of the times they came for the conversations with Savannah. Pictures show the HCC nursing student who graduated from Plant High School in 2018 with a 5.0 getting along with everyone, law enforcement, firefighters, and her co-workers who were her family in every sense of the word. Just for a kid to want to keep the legacy going in Tampa that my grandfather worked so hard for 53 years, it, it speaks volume. Beyond saying they're getting closer to arresting at least one suspect, police are tight-lipped on the details of what happened to Savannah at 8 Wednesday night. Her car crashed when she was shot. Our detectives have been nonstop trying to get to leads, talking to witnesses. You know, we're trying to gain more information about exactly what happened. We're, we feel pretty good about it. Still a lot of work to do, but um, I'm confident that the person responsible for that shooting will be brought to justice. Her mother is desperate for that moment, but not as much as she is for Savannah to still be working behind the counter of their family restaurant, which is almost as much as their pride and joy as she is. The shrine to her isn't going anywhere. For people to come in and don't see her, it's going to damper this whole restaurant. It's not going to be the same. It'll never be the same. And family still says they are making her funeral arrangements. It's a far cry from planning her 22nd birthday celebration, which was supposed to be next month in Atlanta. Mark? That's far too young. Evan Axelbank will live this live. Evan, thanks very much.